what is the difference between online and offline password guessing attacks in this video we will try to understand that in a password guessing attack an attacker one by one tries passwords against a username until the correct password is guessed there are two types of password guessing attacks online password guessing attacks and offline password guessing attacks in an online password guessing attack an attacker opens the login prompt of a web application server and tries guessing a user's password the attacker may try brute forcing the password he may try passwords one by one until the password is guessed correctly attackers often perpetrate online password guessing attacks but there are specific problems with this approach for example after trying out three or five passwords the web application server may lock out the user the online password guessing attacks may also be detected from the log files moreover the speed with which the attack can be performed depends on the network speed and the speed of the web application server a typical online password guessing attack can be performed with only 3 to 5 login attempts per second so attackers often try offline password guessing attacks in an offline password guessing attack an attacker steals the hash of all passwords from the web application server after that the attacker creates hashes of all possible passwords and tries to match the created hashes with the stolen hash values we all know that passwords are never stored on a server as it is when a user provides his password at the time of registration the password is hashed using a good cryptographic hash function and then the hash value is stored in the database when a user tries to log in after successful registration the user provides his password again the web application server then hashes the provided password again in the same way and compares the hash value with the hash value stored on the server if they match the server knows that the user has provided the correct password in an offline password guessing attack an attacker may steal the stored hash values and then create hashes of all possible passwords after that the attacker can try matching the hash values one by one until a match is found if a match is found the attacker knows that he has guessed the correct password i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more please visit the website of the security body or refer to the book cryptography and public key infrastructure the security body also provides many cyber security courses the relevant links are provided in the description you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos